Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, good whatever time of day it may be for you. I'm the Layback Gamer, and we got something a little different planned for today. That's right, I managed to get my gold. All 150,000 of the 555,000 gold total. So, here we are. We are going to be buying... Uh, do I go into stories? Yep, it's under stories. We are buying Nehru's Challenges. Solve all ten puzzles to earn five packs of Morrowind, 100 soul gems, and a, and a special card back. Purchase complete. Ah, oh, this is going to be very exciting. Very, very happy. Stoked to finally have this. It's taken a little longer than I would have wanted, but we got it. So, just a couple, couple of housekeeping things before I hop into the these the new puzzles um i was playing oh first off still hasn't still haven't solved dathian fears trials and second off i would i did do some ranking today well it's going to be yesterday by the time you guys see this video naru Viarian. so you're looking to join the wrong tongue hero all right, I think I can show you the ropes. I've got 10 challenges that'll show you some of my favorite tricks. Okay, I like this. So before we continue, I won some ladder games. So I'm at, I won three ladder games in a row, which puts me up to just two wins shy of climbing into the seventh rank. I'm hoping that by the time the next laddering video happens, We'll be at rank 7. I'm coming in a little closer than I want. It's the 22nd today. And I have, I think, uh, 7 more days? Yeah, I, I, think, I believe it's 7 more days. 6 to 7 more days left to get to the warrior rank. Do I think I'm going to do it? I'm going to try my hardest. No promises, but I'm going to try my hardest. So, without further ado, let's continue. Orc Clan Shaman. This technique I picked up from um, some orc hit bandits a while back. In return, I gave them a, um, a really merciful death. Aw, that's lovely, Nehru. <sighs> I have no idea who she is from Morrowind. I haven't really been, had time to do any quick prep research. And now this is interesting. Oh, it's not one of these win in one turn scenarios. Win this turn. You got it. Alright, so all of them have breakthrough. Um, I've got, so far, i got 13 on field. Does that do to, to an enemy creature? Okay, so it, it won't do anything to ours. So that'll give me plus three more, which will bring me up to 16, but I need a little more damage. Plus two, plus two, if you have another orc. Is it that I have to play... Other friendly orcs have plus one, plus one. Then stone shard onto it. I think that's the play here. Been too long since I've embraced my rage. Play this. Then stone shard orc. And there we go. Alright. Not too bad. I had to think about that one. This one, I think this is this is the easier out of the two viable ones. Dathian Fears, if I remember, the first one started off with Adit. And that last one is really insane. I've tried a little bit on off time. Just couldn't... I still can't piece it together, to be honest. Which... It's a little annoying, but hey, that sometimes that's what happens. I imagine there'll be one at the end of Naru's. I might dedicate a special video into solving both of them. Let's move on to Stendar's hammer. Brawn isn't everything, but it is something. It, but it is something. I trust a big, strong hero like you can handle this. Oh, you bet. If this is another, I think this is another novice one. Oh, that or it's an apprentice. I didn't quite see the difficulty rating. I imagine it's a novice, though. So it looks like I picked the more difficult of the few. 
and was able to, for the most part, get it together. Win this turn. You got it. So I want to start with this. How much? I got 20. I have legal sanction. Do not enter your life. Play that. Rampaging Minotaur. Because he's got charge. Siege Catapult. I screwed that up. I think. Yeah, I did. Okay. Uh, you don't want... I don't want a Siege Catapult. I want a Stendar's Hammer, I th believe. Yeah, I think Stendar's Hammer is the play to make there instead of the Siege Catapult. It wouldn't have done me any good. And I noticed that after I played Siege Catapults. So let's go. But yeah. We can't play the Imprisoned Death Lord first, because otherwise he's just going to get shackled. Yeah, whenever an enemy creature is summoned, it shackles him, so we got to play this first. I have legal sanction to this one. Then you... I need the breakthrough, or does Stendo's Hammer give me breakthrough? No, it does not. Play that. We can save that one for later. Double your power. Mentors ring that. This is going to be close. Oh, who am I kidding? It's nowhere close. Easy. If Stendor's Hammer did have Breakthrough, wouldn't have been a problem. Could have played the Siege Catapult and... Actually, no, I couldn't have. No, I, yeah, I could. No, I couldn't have. No, I couldn't have played it. No, yeah, I can, because I wouldn't have played the Raging Minotaur. There we go. A lot of Breakthrough so far. And that was kind of one of the strategies I was picturing with Stendar's Hammer, is you have to get a creature in your opponent's lane in order to really make use of it. Unstoppable Rage, are you an angry person? I think everyone is sometimes. The key is to channel that anger. Ah, so this one's adept. So it's going to be a little bit difficult to see the answer right away. Again, still didn't see the last one, so for all I know it could have been a novice. Oh boy. Alrighty, um well that's pretty easy. Do this. Play Firestorm there. I don't know why I played Firestorm, but unstoppable rage on that. Oh, no, wait, I did. I played it to get rid of the two Hive Defenders. That's why I played it. I don't think Night Predator would have been... No, Night Predator would not have been enough. It would have dealt... Eight damage total. Wouldn't have done it. Well, maybe it might have. I don't know how much Magicka we had... I had enough to play the Gavel, the Firestorm, and... No, I wouldn't have had enough. Never mind. If I had a little more Magicka, it would have worked. Hatchery... Oh, God, not this card. To some, the Morong Tongue are killers. To other, we're justice itself. Remember, there are two sides to every story. Another Adept level. Let's see if we can solve this one. We're actually making pretty decent time so far. I gotta sneeze, hold on. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Oh, I can feel my nose tick. Ooh. Alrighty. Swap up. Nope. 
do it on this. Armor up, and once more. Easy! I'll be I was tempted to swap his attack around. That would have given me one damage, though. And I would have had to find a way to get... Uh, I was at 10 and 5. Yeah, I wouldn't have done it. I will take that. And thank you very much. Okay. Uh, Hatchery Melder. Again, still a crap card. Could have a D. Might have a use somewhere. I'm prom I'm giving it that. Trespassers Bane, an assassin. As an assassin, you'll need to sneak past guards almost every day. But some of the, tri but some are trickier to sneak past than others. So we're gonna be using Trespassers Bane a little bit in this one. I like it. I like it, as Shehagorath would say. Oh, I miss the Shivering Isles DLC. Oh, no. Okay, then. Trespasses Bane to uh, creature's power to one. That'll allow me to reduce that to zero, but that does nothing. I gotta kill him, though. That's the only thing. No, I don't. A swindler's market in hand. Ah, I know what to do. Guide. Sweet roll. Oh no, I mucked up! Oh, I mucked that up. Oh, I was one magic off. I mucked that up. Oh dear. Uh, so then what can I do? I need to get one damage through to him. So how am I going to do that? That takes six. Um. I know I need to use Trespasses Bane to get rid of this. Just not quite sure what to do after that. Hmm. Cost eleven the I the turn I want to make. So what can you do? It's a cost of an action. So all we do is reduce this. I don't have a second act. I don't have a second card that costs zero though. Unless no, that doesn't do it. sure how I'm gonna get out of this one. I can't play Giant Bat right now. It gets immediately killed. Or, it, not killed. Uh, gets immediately sweet rolled. <sighs> I'm not really seeing the answer to this. I mean, I would've... Uh, hmm. Yeah, thanks, heroes. I'm gonna actually go ahead and move on to the next challenge, onto a different challenge. Think, give this one a little bit of time. I don't want to spend too much time just lingering over these. I'd prefer to keep it moving at a nice, consistent pace. That way, we can get to the end. So, let's, uh, let's see if I can take a crack at these bottom ones. Yes, yes. Trial of Flame. Oh, this card. This should get quite... This should be quite the trial. 
But you'll hit, but you live for that sort of thing, right? So we're gonna have to use Trial of Flame in an attempt to get rid of something. Question is, what's it gonna be? Okay then. I have a lot of magicka. Uh, is there a trick to this one that I'm not aware of? I'm ready for anything. Oh right, I forgot. Whoops. I'll destroy all but the most powerful creature on both sides of this lane. Okay, so... Whoops! <laughs> I, uh, I forgot that's what Shrine Guardians do. Whoops. Here's a thought. Can I target... I could target my potions on my opponent, right? Because if that's the case, then I just target... I target the, uh... Oh, what's the guy called? Yeah, I target this. Bring him over to here. Or, it's not really helping that I can't demonstrate. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I can. Grapple hook. Bring you over. Trial by fire. Then gain charge. So just anywhere. Alright, there we go. I didn't actually know you could target potion. You could target some of these potions on your opponent. I always thought it was just, you do it on, because you, you don't have a reason. There's no reason to target your opponent's creatures with any targetable, any potions that can target. There's no reason to do it. I'll take that card back, or not card back, card pack to go. One down, five to go. Let's go ahead. Next one. Green Touch Spriggan. You're looking a bit under the weather today, hero. Not to worry. This challenge is guaranteed to rejuvenate you. And I think that was rejuvenate. Alright. What do we got here? Maybe when one of these five packs, we might get a legend. That would make this video that much better. Prize Chicken. I like where this is go- Oh, I have 16 Magicka. 60 health? Excuse me? 60 health? Uh, we're gonna need this. That'll definitely help. Is there any way I can kill that off? Yeah, there is. No, there's not. I can't kill him off. The nine inspire. So, attack there. And then, Feasting Hunger. Yeah, that didn't work out as well as I thought it was going to. So, just a question. Oh! Okay, then. That was painful. So, I gotta target you with House Kinsman. To drain some health. It'll double the health gain and it'll do 8 damage, which will increase my Spriggan. Then drop down the other card. Or is there a way I can just double my health so that I get 30? I get 
I just keep doubling until I get 60. Eh, that's worth a try. I think it's worth a try. Oh yeah, actually, that's the play we're supposed to do here. Never mind, I lied. That's exactly what we're supposed to do, right? So do this. The nine inspire. The nine inspire. Snake tooth necklace on that. Kill off the prize chicken. Gain 16 health. Oh dear. Oh boy. Is this enough? Oh, that's just enough! Oh wow, that was powerful! Okay. 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 And again. Okay. I'll take it. Let me take that. Thank you very much. And we shall move on to the next puzzle. Which is going to be Voice of balance. A sense of balance is essential in this line of work. Again, probably going to be a win this turn. I haven't seen many hold for one, stay alive for one turn. But we'll find out. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, boy. Um, a hundred health. Oh, I have to survive one turn to win. Okay. Uh... I don't know. I think I have to firestorm this lane, because that's my action. My support. My item. Prison ship there. Firestorm here. It's not enough though. I don't have enough magicka. So I've got one of these guys locked down. Then the item has to come out. Does it, is it shield? Do I use Legionnaire's shield? No, that wouldn't give me the ability to survive a turn. I'm just curious as to what this will do. Okay, that's what I thought. Alrighty, so I'm gonna do something a little different. Regardless, the support has to be played. Or does it have to? I don't think it actually has to be played. We just discard it. Discard it. Prison ship. That'll give me plus one more Magicka, which will bring me up to 14. And is that enough? I think that's enough, actually. Because I'll be able to play the I play an item. So what is this guy again? If you have an action, item, and support in your discard pile, if you have it. So, this is the action that I can play for free. Care to make a friendly wager? Yep, discard the support. Close call you back. Prison ship. Shackle that. I don't think I've got enough. Yeah, this isn't this isn't enough. One magic is short again.
because all I could do is then do that. That shackles that guy up. Then double voice of balance. If I give him guard, he just dies. Or... Yeah, he doesn't live if I if I do that. <clears throat> the battle is yours. It's gotta be something I'm missing here. I think I do have to use the firestorm. <clears throat> firestorm clears that out. Corner club gambler. That's seven. Eight, nine, ten. Uh, can I choose up the gambler to be strong? And how actually? What's the strength of the? Oh, hold on! I just got it. <clears throat> All right, I got it now. Okay, if I'm correct, firestorm, corner club. Oh, I'm not though, because if I play that here. It's just gonna die. It's gonna die immediately as soon as I play it. Oh, this one's stumping me. No, it won't. It won't. I don't play corner. No, I have to play corner club because I gotta get rid of the support. But if I play you, you just die. Okay, so, the idea was to do this. And then it would shackle for that. That would lock two of them down. And shield would go out. It would survive one hit, but not another. And I still don't have this. Okay, so. Ah, this is annoying. Alright, let's think. Let's just think for a moment here. I gotta find a way to get rid of all of them. So, Corn Club Gambler hat gets rid of the... Gets rid of the support. We play the shield on the gambler. That lane's secured. Okay. There's no. We don't have to play. We don't have to play the firestorm. We just get rid of firestorm. I don't know. We get rid of the support. Care to make a friendly wager? Maybe not. Okay, we have that. I would... Solved it. I got it. Alright, can't get... I have to get actually get rid of the... The Firestorm instead. Alright, so that, that was the original play... Hey, that... What I was originally doing, I think, was correct. Getting... We have to toss the Firestorm. It'll make sense in just a second, guys. It'll make sense. We, I think, I think I've got the Magicka to make this work. I don't even think I need, the, no, I do need the prison ship for the extra shackle. <laughs> Okay, so we play that. Care to make a Corner club to that. Legion shield that. And... 
How did I do this afterwards? I'm still short. I'm one shackle short. I have to play these two. I'm going to give this one more try, and then I think after that one try, I'm going to have to call this apart. I will definitely beat this in the next part. I just got to give some of these ones a little extra thinking. Especially, well, I haven't even looked at the next one. Actually, I'll take one quick look at the next one, assuming we beat this. It, regardless if we do or don't in this attempt, I'm going to take a look at the next one. And we will go from there. I got the solutions on the tip of my tongue. So we play the support. What if I don't corner club? My sword is yours. And instead we do this. No, wait, I can close call this because they both cost zero. Action's now in the grave. Play the septum. Play... Oh, I can't shield. Or can I? Yeah, I can. So, Legion shield. Play both of these. Mace of Encumbrance, Prison Ship, got it! Oh. Woo! That was difficult, I, I could not. That was a trip, that was a good one. You got me, game, you got me. I'll give you that, you got me. I'll take that pack. Another card pack. And I'll take a quick look at that last one. See if I can beat it first couple tries. Otherwise, I'll have to save it for the next video. I'm hoping I can beat it. And then there's, of course, still this. Ooh, up, Ulfric's Uprising. When I train a new assassin, all I can ever ask is that they truly rise up to their potential. All right, Nehru, what do you got for me this time? What do you got? I bet it's nothing. Actually, that last one was something, so... Uh, it never occurred to me to use the Septum Guard. I'm going to be honest, it never occurred to me. It's, oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh my, I think I know how to do this. Gain three magicka this turn. Doppelganger that. Play this. Alfric's Uprising. Play that. Get the Magicka back. Juice up those mud crabs. I, I'm not sure this is gonna be enough. I'm not gonna lie, I don't know if this is. Oh, that's gonna be enough. Yep. Death by mud crabs. Oh my. <laughs> Death by Mudcrab. That's gotta be one of the wor- Wait, what? No. Are you kidding? What? How is that possible? That is so much damage. How is that possible? It's not possible.
Is there some? Is there an action in my grave right now? No, there can't be. How? How? Seriously, I'm 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 a, I'm a little dumbfound. How is that not enough damage? Nothing else in my discard. I can't play you until after I've played you. Just tell me who to stab. Oh no, I mucked that up! The battle is yours. So I gotta find another way to play Ulfric's Uprising yet again. So is it... Oh, wait a minute. I know how to do this. I copied the wrong thing. I doppelganger the wrong thing, that's why. Alright, never mind. I know how you I know how you wanna play. We're just gonna get to, Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. You wanna play this game, Elder Scrolls? Oh dear! Oh no! Oh boy, this might take a while. Oh boy. This may take a while. Nope, never mind. We're just immediately chaining into this again. And it works! It's the infinite magicka cycle! Oh boy. Okay, so what I'm gonna do just to shorten this video is... Holy mud crab! The power of the mud crabs shall beat you up! Oh my! Oh my! You... If I had more time in a day, I would just sit there, no joke, for ages, and just bummel my opponent downward. I I think after all this is said and done, I have to go back and find all of the moments where you could do almost infinite damage. I have to. It'd be a crime not to. And just make an epic video. A really epic time lapse of the whole thing, and then post it. I think that I think that'd be really cool. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to end it for today. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Hit that subscribe button if you really enjoyed. Don't forget to share this video or any of my other videos to anybody who you think will enjoy my content. Hopefully, in a short while after this gets uploaded. I'm going to have the next part uploaded, and it's going to have our Trespassers Bane, plus the mystery one that's going to appear right beside Ulfric's Uprising. And if there's time, we'll definitely try to take a stab at the Nauru's Master Challenge, because I imagine there's got to be one for this. And if not, well then, I'll take one stat, one, count them one, shot at Dathian Fears. So, until next time, guys, take it easy.